happy holidays welcome to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like and leave comments below and if you're a returning subscriber good to see you and thank you for your custom so today's video is about the, a few tips and tricks that I found on the iPad. I hope this video will help someone. So let's get right into the video. Join me on my computer as we go along. So I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch and the third generation and this is the 15.31 3.1 um, upgrade software upgrade so the first one is um, drawing perfect shapes you know when you have this I'm just gonna start all over so when you have like um, on your on your notes and you want to draw a perfect shape like when you draw a circle you can see that's not perfect so let me erase that and try and draw a perfect circle then you just you just draw a perfect circle you just draw into it like that and hold it and it becomes perfect then for a sphere you draw something like that and you hold on to it it becomes perfect then a square you hold on to it it becomes a square a rectangle you hold on to it and it becomes perfect then a star and for a star and for a star you draw and you hold on to it and it becomes perfect so that's basically one of the features of this you can either use a pen or you use your free your free hand so then for your normal um recent apps that you normally do with swiping up like that to get your recent apps you can also just do your four fingers and do that and you still get your apps to come up so you can get your apps to come up that way or you can also hold the bottom here and you swipe it like that and you get your apps and as you swipe at the bottom like that you get all your recent apps come up see yeah so also I know one other feature is when you swipe at the bottom here, you get your notes to come up. You get your note to come up by swiping at the right hand here. And how do you get into um, this to be able to... So you go into settings and general, then you find the gestures there. So you can use your forefinger, set it up there to use the forefinger, five finger swipe and allow the finger to swipe from the corner and for you to be able to take screenshots from this end you you choose screenshots on that side and also for you to do the right corner swipe to get your quick note you take that to get your quick note so that's another one there and another one, another feature here is when you're trying to type, for instance, now, um, let me take this off and we try to make a new note. And as we're typing, you see the, like half of it is covering the, um, the face of the keyboard. So what you just do is just bring it together like that and you can make the keyboard smaller and then you can type whatever you want to type in there and to bring it back you just have to do that again and you get your keyboard back so we move on to the next one then 
Now you notice that the iPad, the new iPad does not have a calculator. So what do you do to be able to um, get your calculator? You get, you go onto the search mode, just on the middle like that, and you bring it down. You get the search mode up there. So how do you use this as a calculator? You just go in there, 23 plus 4. So the calculator comes up there so you can either use that to do your calculations or you can do your search in there to find um, what you want so the next step is how do you um, split the screen to split the screen for example now I go into my emails that is my emails and while I'm in my emails. I want to watch um, maybe YouTube. So I just swipe this up a little bit like that. Then you hold on to the, you swipe it up a little bit and hold on to the YouTube and drag it up here. So the screen is split now. So you can, this is a YouTube. So you can move it around, put it here or you put it up there. So you have two screens up there. You can bring a third screen. Um, let's say for instance now i want um the adobe so i'll just hold that bring it up here and it's there so how do i switch between the screens so it's just by moving this slider here the slider at the bottom here and you'll be able to move through the screens so these are the screens so you can pick which one you want at the top via the slider up here so you pick the adobe and that's how you split the screen for the ipad so to the end of the video and i hope to see you in the next video do have a great time bye for now don't forget to subscribe like and leave comments below bye for now next one is when you want to make a screenshot for example now i go into here i type holy spirit fire in there and i want to take a screenshot of the full page like this so when i take a screenshot here now you tap onto that and you click onto full page and that saves your full page done you save as pdf up here so you save it on the iPad I think I've saved it before now yep so it's now saved then how do you um, retrieve that back that's in uh, our um, Adobe so here it is here in the Adobe so if I want to so if I want to um, view that, you see that's the full page there. The full page is up there in the Adobe. That's a full page that we've just screenshot. So we've saved the full page in PDF. So I hope this uh, little video has helped someone. And I hope... Um, you'll be able to use your iPad the way I've just shown you. We've come to the end of the video and I hope to see you in the next video. Do have a great time. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave comments below. Bye for now.